Hey gang, so I got something in a trade that I've been pretty curious about. I've been looking at it. I haven't been sure if it was something I wanted, but it came up in the trade. Oh my God, I'm rambling this, aren't I? I got this in the trade. It's a beetle crash. It is stainless steel and copper, and it's really good. Let's uh, let's have a closer look. It's the beetle crash. Let's go. Okay, here's the beetle crash. This is in, uh, I think, stainless steel and copper, I believe. And uh, this was a sale. This was something I bought off of someone else secondhand. I have never really been interested in these because I just thought they were too simple. It's just a, something that clicks. Um, I didn't really see the appeal to it, but it came up for sale. And I thought, you know what? This is kind of a perfect time to try it. Uh, second hand, you know, really good price in Canada. So sh uh, shipping was nice and cheap too. And I am so glad, so, so glad that I tried it out. Um, I use this so much when I'm driving, when I'm on the couch, when I'm walking around. Um, I really had no idea how satisfying this would be. It's awesome. And I even like, there's there's something, and, and I'm sure this is all just uh, psychosomatic, but it feels, that I hope I use that word right, uh, but it feels like the bottom row clicks stronger than the top. I'm sure that's not true, but there's just something about it, especially these outer corners. I love using these outer corners. The bottom outer corners, I don't know, there's something about them just because of the way they stick out. This, I wish I could understand why this was here, uh, this groove. I have no idea what purpose this serves. It's an odd design. Um, I'm guessing, I know the idea maybe was to, was, was to an indent for your finger, but to be honest, that's not how your fingers work. If you're holding it like this, I mean, I get it. I know that you you can form your fingers like that, but you know, the flat is the way to go. And I know that that's like the puffer crash uh, is a flat piece to do that. So this is just kind of interesting. It, it's, it's interesting to me the choice on why it was designed that way with this piece in here. I have tried to figure out how to take this apart. I have not figured it out yet. Uh, it must though, I, I would think, cause I don't, you know, unless these are glued together, but I've heard about people's like clickers not working and stopping. And I know these are just little switches, right? These are just like little electronic switch buttons you can get. So there has to be a way to get in here um, to fix that, hopefully non-destructively though. If I do find out how to do it, I will absolutely um, put out a new video. Now I have, uh, th this currently has no uh, lanyard or bead on it because I have a special one coming in that should be here any day now, but I wanted to review this first. So again, very simple, but really, really satisfying. Like this just feels good. Um, I tend to do one finger. I know you can kind of do both. Uh, I've seen the promo videos where they do this thing. I mean, come on, nobody's doing that. Um, or, or are people doing that? Maybe, but it does not feel good. It feels like you're breaking it. So I don't know. That's funny. I think sometimes they just do that on videos to sort of make up um, extra ways to use it. It's like, look, I can hold it like this. I could hold it like this. It's a worry stone. It's a, you know, like, no, come on. Nobody's doing that. Um, people are doing either this. Again, I shouldn't say nobody's doing that, but it is... Um, I don't, I don't know. There's no instinct for me to do that. How about, how about we, let's say that there's no instinct for me to roll it like this. Uh, this is, the, this thing lives here, right? This is all in the thumb pushing down. Um, so yeah, this is actually a very cool shape, very fun, very unique, really good weight for something like this. The weight is awesome. Uh, because there's no moving parts other than the buttons. Nothing else has to slide or fall off or come apart. There's no real dexterity required. You're just sort of holding it. So I really like that. Um, and it's kind of cool. Like 
it's 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 a cool little piece. It's a nice thoughtless fidget, which I think we should all have at least one or two thoughtless fidgets in our collection where you're not laddering, you're not flipping, you're not, I mean, spinning is, is kind of thoughtless too, I guess, but this is just like, you're just sitting there doing this. I mean, I can't think of a lower effort fidget other than maybe a worry stone where you just hold it and do that. So yeah, this is, uh, I really like this. I'm really, really happy that I got this. I'm definitely gonna hold on to this for a while. I've, I've learned to say, or I've learned to stop saying I'll never sell this. That's not true. I, I sell things. I sell things because that's how I fund new things to review, but I am definitely gonna hold on to this for a while. Uh, and then I will update this with a review once I get the, the special bead I have ordered. I said lanyard before, the lanyard means nothing. It's the bead that I've ordered. Uh, so I'll post an update to this when that comes in. All right, gang. Thanks for watching.